Hearing is one of your five senses. It's called the auditory system and does more than just take in sound. So listen up. Would you like a drink of water? What? Would you like a drink of water? What? You can't hear me if your music's too loud. And besides, that's bad for your hearing. Why? Because loud sounds can damage your ears. How? How does your hearing work? Hearing begins with sound. When you make a sound, you create energy in the form of sound waves. A loud sound has taller waves than a soft one. Those sound waves eventually enter your ears. The sound travels down the ear canal. The ear canal is about an inch long, and at its end is a thin piece of skin called the eardrum. The eardrum is stretched tight, just like the top of a drum. When sound waves hit the eardrum, it begins to vibrate. That vibration makes three tiny bones in your middle ear begin to move. These three tiny bones are known as the hammer, anvil, and stirrup, because that's kind of what they look like. These three bones transmit or move the sound along to the inner ear. They also increase the force of the sound waves. Sound waves then move into a snail-shaped structure in the inner ear called the cochlea. The cochlea is filled with fluid and more than 17,000 tiny hair-like tissues called hair cells. Sound waves move through the fluid and the hair cells bend. The movement of those hair cells stimulates the 30,000 nerve fibers leading to the hearing nerve. That nerve carries the signal to the brain, and the brain figures out what the sound is. It's important to protect your hearing from loud sounds. Muscles in the middle ear protect the ear by stiffening the eardrum and the movement of the hammer, anvil, and stirrup bones. But sudden loud sounds can break and damage the hair cells in the cochlea and can even break the eardrum. And continued loud sounds can also damage those tiny hair cells. So be sure to wear hearing protection like earmuffs or earplugs if you're going to be around loud sounds and turn down the volume on your headphones. Because when your hearing is damaged, it can't be made all better. About 200,000 Americans are deaf. That means they can't hear anything. Another 3 million have severe hearing problems. They use hearing aids to amplify or increase the strength of sound waves so they can hear better. Others have a cochlear implant. That's where a small microphone helps transmit sound to the hearing nerve. Individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing sometimes use sign language to communicate. Others can read lips. Communicating, whether it's with your ears or your hands, is essential to life. And you need two ears to figure out where a sound is coming from. Your brain figures out the difference between the two sound levels in each ear and calculates where the sound is coming from. Oh, by the way, your ears do something else. Another part of the inner ear is called the vestibular system. Movement of fluid inside the vestibular system tells your brain about your body position and the direction that you're moving in. That way you can tell up from down, even with your eyes closed. And when you spin around, the fluid in the vestibular system spins too. That fluid keeps moving for a bit even after you stopped. And that explains why you feel dizzy. Wow, I didn't know our auditory system was so important. I'll pay more attention to my hearing. Oh, I'll have that water now. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.